Winter's coming. Are you ready? Well, join us as we share our tips and tricks when it comes to protecting your boat this winter. Hey guys, my name is Ramsey Skinner. I work in customer service here at Regulator Marine. And I just want to go through some simple steps today at winterizing your boat. We get this question often, especially from the guys up in the Northeast. So hopefully these few little steps today will help you out. All right, guys, first thing we're going to talk about here is winterizing the fresh water system in your boat. So most, if not all, regulators have a fresh water tank. So obviously you're going to want to winterize that system when it gets cold enough outside. So at regulator in the winter months, we, we winterized all boats and we use a pink RV and marine antifreeze. So there's a lot of different brands. There's a lot to choose from. It can be confusing. If you have any questions on that, consult your dealer or give me a call. Either way, we'll point you in the right direction. And what you'll do here is you'll put about two to three gallons roughly in your fresh water tank. And obviously you're gonna use the fresh water fill to put that in and just make sure because it can get confusing with multiple fills on the side of the boat. This is one of your freshwater systems here. This is just a spigot. On all regulators, basically you're just gonna turn this on and run it until it runs pink. So the next step here, we've, we've winterized the freshwater spigot. We know we're good there. So we're gonna come to the transom shower and uh, each regulator has a uh, freshwater transom shower. We happen to be on a 24XO. It's located in the splash well. And uh, our other models are located in different areas. Just as a side note, we're on a 24XO. This boat does not have a freshwater toilet and uh, a lot of regulators do so if you have a freshwater toilet on your boat we suggest you winterize that also all right guys so we're done with the fresh water system we know we're good there we're going to move on to the raw water system so each regulator has a raw water pump located in the bilge and coming off of that pump there's a hose that runs to the through hole fitting for the live well pump what you're going to do is disconnect that hose at the through hole fitting put it into a bucket with about a gallon or so of antifreeze and then run all systems that are connected to raw water. So now we're gonna winterize the drains on, our, on this boat. Any box that has a drain in it, we're gonna pour a little bit of antifreeze in there just to get some antifreeze sitting in that hose so we don't run into any issues. And another side note is every regulator has a macerated fish box, which is obviously pumped out so it's not gravity drained. So we're gonna to want to pour some antifreeze in there also roughly half a gallon to a gallon to get the pump to prime and then pump that out also. So we're going to talk about winterizing your Yamaha outboard. So depending on where you live, there's a lot of different recommendations, a lot of different processes. So one of the most important things, depending on how you store your boat, is to trim your engine all the way down to ensure all the water is drained out of it fresh and salt. And um, there's a lot of different things you can do to your engine to winterize it. So you can uh, change filters, change your oil, fog the engine, uh, stay bill. So what I would suggest here is to contact a certified Yamaha technician and just get their recommendation on what would be best for your boat. All right guys, another thing we suggest before putting your boat up for the winter is to get the hull waxed. And uh, you don't really have to do this only in the winter. This can be done all year round as much as you want. What it's gonna do is gonna protect and prolong the life of your gel coat. And the colored hulls are more susceptible to oxidation. So I would highly suggest it for the colored hulls. Now, if waxing the hull is something you want to try doing yourself, we have a video up on uh, YouTube and the Regulator website of a step-by-step -step process of doing this, so that could possibly help you out. So another recommendation we have is the use of canvas covers. So the Regulator offers a set of three canvas covers. We'll be covering the helm seat, the helm area electronics, and the console seating. There's a lot of different aftermarket covers that you can look into. They're also a good option too, full boat covers, things like that. Another recommendation that I would, I would give you is to any detachable cushions, I would either store them in your garage or put them inside the console. All right, guys, I hope that helped. A few tips and tricks to winterize your boat and uh, prolong the life of your regulator. If you ever have any questions on this, feel free to call us at the factory or call your dealer. Love to help you out. Thank you, guys.